Hey, how's it going guys? So right now I'm going to be talking to you about Dynalist. So you can see on my computer screen here, this is Dynalist. And Dynalist is an awesome program um, that helps you with all sorts of things. I can't even tell you all the things that it does um, or that you can do with it. It's actually a very simple tool, but all the things you can do with it are Awesome. We use them, we use a lot of the features that Dynalist offers. But today I'm going to be talking to you specifically about journaling in Dynalist. You can hear Emma playing in the background. Uh, Emma is our daughter. She just turned three the other day. Let's talk about how you can journal your deepest thoughts. Really get deep. Now, uh, J and K, what we do on this channel is we talk about the importance of thinking deeply. Now this is an awesome way that you can actually get your thoughts really deep. So the first thing you want to do is just write a topic that you want to go deep into and discover your deep thoughts about that. So uh, then right underneath you can just start typing um, just some deep thoughts about things. So for example, right here, how to journal your deepest thoughts in Dynalist. Uh, we can actually number these things if we want. So we can go here to uh, number children. So number one here, we can have create an account with Dynalist. Um, and we can actually have sub points here. So a uh, sub point here would be it's free. And underneath your topics or the phrases or sentences that you're journaling out, you can just start adding in all sorts of questions or reasons or sub thoughts. And then when you're no longer journaling about that sub thought, just outdent rather than indent, just outdent and just keep on going with other thoughts. And then you can keep on indenting. Um, and the cool thing is, is that you can just drag and drop. Um, you can do all sorts of cool things. For example, you can just uh, use colors, um, certainly hashtags, like you can see that we have all sorts of hashtags in here. Um, today. You can also add dates, which are really cool. Due dates. It'll show up on that date that it's due. I just went to the Dynalist website here, and one of the features that I love about Dynalist is the fact that you can um, link things together. So you can go link one thought underneath another thought. So that would be this cross linking thing here, conven conveniently linked to anywhere in your Dynalist. So if I go back to my thing here, uh, I can take this and if I wanted to say that something else is free as well and have it actually be the same thing, not just a duplicate, because I hate duplicating things. It's a very messy way to um, live your life, just duplicating, doing the same work over and over again. And uh, it's better to just link or refer back to something else. Uh, I'm making a video, that's also free. So uh, let's say this was like far away or I zoomed into it, um, then you could just link back to it and then you're right back there and you can just uh, go out again. So if I just wanted to go up one level, up another level, you can see sort of, sort of some of the power of Dynalist. So I quickly made a little list of some of the steps here. One is create an account with Dynalist. By the way, it's free. Then you can start journaling. Then you can format on the go. Uh, so while you're typing, remember to indent and sometimes outdent. Um, so use those features in there. And then the last one is zoom in to go deeper. This is where the magic happens. So let's zoom in on to start journaling and uh, see how deep we can go with the idea of journaling. This is a quick look at Dynalist and how you can journal a little bit better. Um, I highly recommend that you check this out. This is one of my very favorite tools ever. It's very similar to a tool that I used to use called The Brain. So check that one out too. Uh, the Brain is an awesome tool as well. It has a similar kind of um, purpose to it to go deeper and link things together, link thoughts together. But this one 
is much easier to use, a much, much quicker learning curve, and it's faster. It's just text-based rather than the brain, which, um, check it out, you'll see that it's more node uh, mind map based, but this still has the same kind of features of linking thoughts together um, and having hierarchies and stuff like that. So one uh, and certainly the zooming in aspect is really cool to really zoom in on one thing and really get deep on that. So that's the purpose of this uh, whole program and it's the way my brain works. It's probably the way that your brain works. Um, so try it out, see what you think. Let me know in the comments and also let me know of any questions that you have. Since I use this program all the time, I can probably help you out if you have some questions about it. All right, thanks, talk to you later.